Well, hello there, my ageless friends. Did you think I forgot about you? <laughs> no, I didn't. Uh, I just have had, oh gosh, so much going on um, with my life. Um, we, as you see, I have a little bit of different background and that's what today's video is gonna be about. I'm uh, just gonna, a lot of people ask me, you know, like we see all your pictures on Instagram of all that makeup, like where do you put it and what all does it look like at this point? So I thought I would just do a quick beauty room vanity tour and um, this has been kind of interesting because we kind of uh, forcefully got all the junk we usually throw in my office and made half of it, which is a pretty small room already, uh, my beauty room. <laughs> the back half of it that you see behind me is all beautiful and nice and then of course over there is a different story. <laughs> so we'll, uh, we'll not look at that part today, but uh, I wanted to take you through the vanity and say I'm so happy to see you again. This is the relaunch of my channel. I really hope to be filming more often now that we've got a, a place before I had a little bit of a setup in my bedroom and that we were tripping over things and it was just a bad place. So now that we're all set up down here and there's some pretty things to look at, uh, you know, so you don't have to stare at me the whole time, <laughs> then uh, this will be this will be fun. So I'm really excited to launch. I really have been missing filming. Uh, I feel like I haven't seen you guys in a long time and so uh, I want to appreciate, first of all, a couple of things. First of all, I wanted to thank everybody on Instagram for helping me hit 7,000 followers. So thank you very much. I, I just, I think I said on uh, my last post that it's just been kind of, I, I, I just remember hitting 1,000 followers thinking, Wow, that's so amazing that a thousand people are liking my, my photographs and uh, following my crazy makeup collection insanity and that was just so neat and then now here I am at 7,000. I can't thank you enough. I certainly can't imagine something like eight or nine or ten. <laughs> so uh, I'm really excited to kind of get this going. I'm really excited to build this up because one of the things that you guys have been telling me, I so appreciate all the feedback because it's kind of funny you're just sitting here talking to a camera by yourself in a room. So. Uh, in other professions that might get you locked up, but for now, <laughs> it's we accept that because we're talking to all of you out in YouTube land. But um, uh, it's it's just been kind of neat to hear from you guys about like, hey, you know, there's there's a lot of YouTubers that are that are younger and they have all these beautiful flawless faces, and you know, there's not very many channels for those of us that have wrinkles and have smile lines and have. Uh, all of this, you know, neck thing going on with me. I see it as I'm looking at the thing. Like, don't look at it. <laughs> look away. But, uh, you know, as we are in our 40s and 50s, things start to shift and change and move and it's annoying. Mm -hmm. I am an avid watcher of Jaclyn Hill and Laura Lee and uh, Carly Bible and there's some really neat people on YouTube. Nikki Tutorial is the one that started me on all this whole thing. Um, and they have taught me so much. So I just want to kind of use them as an inspiration to kind of transform those kind of makeup looks that they do um, that seem so perfect for younger skin and show us how we with our aging and mature skin let's just let's just say it our old wrinkly skin <laughs> let's just call a spade a spade um, is uh, how we can use those those makeup uh, those makeup items and still feel pretty and still feel like you know we're relevant and the purpose of this channel is to say hello 40s 50s 60s 70s 90s I don't care what you are you still have the right to have beauty and beauty is should be accessible to women of all ages and I'm sure it it is something in society has just made us believe that uh, maybe when once we get to be a certain age it's ridiculous for us to wear makeup or um, you know it's oh look at that cute little old lady wearing makeup isn't she cute and the more we do things like that the more we certainly feel like we're being silly wearing makeup out. So if you would like to take a tour of my brand new vanity and beauty room and take a look at some of the items in my insane makeup collection, please keep watching. Okay, so let's go on a vanity tour. Hi there. So let's start over here to the right. Um, there, I have so many brushes, it's not funny. And of course, you know, I have, they've gotten these little containers from just all kinds of different places for these. Um, these little ones came from Etsy. Uh, I think this one came from Hobby Lobby. This one came from a, a gal that does them on Etsy, I believe. And so I have a, lots and lots of different brush holders. Um, this one I think was a pencil holder, like an office, you know, from an office supply uh, that is long and it holds a lot of different brushes. And I'm about to kind of reorganize some of that. And also some things I wanted to show you. This was my, probably one of my brand new, not one of, but probably my favorite. Um, primer now. Um, I was, I, until I watched uh, Nikki Tutorials and some of the other young kids <laughs> on here on YouTube what, doing primers, I didn't even know I was really supposed to do that. And now that I know, I have tried several of them. I've tried, here, let's, let's go down to, <clears throat> this is kind of the face drawer. 
And in here is where I have uh, lots of different primers and moisturizers and foundations, and, and which I wasn't using for a long time. But uh, one that I used for a while was the Smashbox um, Photo Finish Primer, which is supposed to kind of clog up your pores. And I found what that did, though, is it was it didn't work the same way on my face. And of course, it's not going to work the same on anyone's face. But um, for mine, my pores, of course, you know, are a little older, and so all it did was kind of um, just kind of clog up my pores instead of really photo finishing over them. So it's okay if you want if you're going to go somewhere and then come up right home and wash it off. But if you want a really long-lasting one, this has really been my favorite one. And so this is the Neck Prep and Prime Skin Base the Ball. And so uh, I really, really like this. And one of the things I really like about it is that it has little pumps so that you can just uh, really, it takes little, a little dot for each cheek and just a dot on the forehead and the chin. And that's all you need. Let me just knock that over. <laughs> I'll just knock it over again. All right, so I am just loving that. And also, the other thing I do before I even prime is I got this brand new Mac, and of course, Six Plus, my ride or die. I'm sure all of you uh, feel the same way about Six Plus. But I actually tried some of the other sprays, and I really like this one. This is the Mac Mineralize Charged Water um, Skin Hydrating Mist, and I put this on before that primer. And that has been working out really, really nicely. So I use that, and then I use the primer. And then today was the first time I used the Bobbi Brown, um, and you see the difference. So I had to actually mix my Cogan dough and my Bobbi Brown because this one came a little bit lighter. But then, of course, if you use a finished powder, like I like this one. Um, of course, Laura Mercier is a great one. Um, and then it's got a little bit of a skin tint to it, and so that you could put that over it and that will darken it up a little bit. But those are the ones that I like, and I also really like to finish the whole look this Wander Beauty powder. So there's that. And so like I said, in here I've got um, some Genie products. I should like this Genie, brand new Genie products. It's really, really nice. There's Too Faced um, eyeshadow primers and all kinds of fun things in here. There's this, this is one of the very first concealers I ever used. And all, concealer's another thing I didn't know I was supposed to wear. <laughs> but that's really good concealer. And uh, this one too from Milani. Um, and so these are the ones that I've learned from the young kids to go get, and they actually work really well. You just have to know your own skin type and what you want your face to look like. You can't just get on and assume that just because a YouTuber tells you, this is what I use, that you need to run right out and go get this, although that's exactly what I did when I watched Nikki tutorials. Um, <laughs> she said, here's what I use, and I just made a list, and I went and got everything she said. But the difference is um, you just have to know what you need because not all the things that she said once I tried them on my face, I just thought, gosh, you know, it looks so good on her. Why doesn't it look good that good on me? And I had to realize I have different skin, different skin combination types. I, I like a little less foundation, um, you know, and so you just have to kind of get a little base of products and then make them cater to what you need and then tailor fit to what to those things that you need. This is another Genie powder that I like, this Too Faced one I like, and the CC Plus powder from it, I'm really liking as well. So those are the, my top powders. The second drawer, nope, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> this drawer is my blush drawer, and, uh, or no, sorry, it's my highlight drawer, because yeah. <laughs> so these are some of the highlight palettes that I have, and do I have a blush of pen? No. All right, so this is one uh, palette that I like. This is the Lorac um, Cheap Palette, and it actually is another underrated highlighter palette. I really like that. And then, of course, you know, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero Palette. Um, this Morphe Highlight Palette. Um, and this is a really, really, really nice highlight powder. Highlight powder. Highlight palette. Um, and you can see, just it's so, they're so pretty. And this is a really, really underrated um, palette. And of course, you know, the, the other thing that I like to use this for is this one right here is a nice banana powder uh, to kind of set your under eye and kind of lighten up that under eye area. So that's a really actually underrated highlight palette that I really like. And another one that's kind of underrated is the C. Bella uh, palette. And of course, you can, you can see all these pictures on my Instagram feed. Finishing sprays and blushes. So in here we have 
uh, lots of the MAC. We've got Show me your teeth. Oh, this one's all the Mod, this is a beautiful blush, by the way. Um, and then there are some Benefit and um, some Tarte blushes and some other things in here. There's the Genie blush. And then there's a Milani blush. Marc Jacobs. Those are all my favorites. And of course, the Becca face palette is absolutely amazing and beautiful. And then, of course, we all love this one from Too Faced. And then here's some of my favorite setting sprays. Of course, they're not all up here because my Urban Decay Chill is upstairs and my MAC is up here where I told you. Um, this is one that I'm really enjoying right now. And this is the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. So if you want a little, it doesn't really like make your face dewy. I think when you're older, you're like, you want a dewy look without being like wet. Because <laughs> we have enough hot flashes to keep that going for us. So we uh, just want to look like our skin's not all dried out and tired and this does a really good job of that and it doesn't make it seem like all oh, wet and weird it's actually um just a really light mist and it just feels amazing oh another favorite that's not in here is, is the new glam glow setting spray and that makes a really nice um, glow after you do all your makeup to set it this is one that i actually like before you put your makeup on this is from tasha and this is the luminous dewy skin mist but it, it goes on a little bit tacky, which is so awesome to put on uh, before you put your makeup on because it'll make everything kind of adhere to it a little bit better. But it does give you extra layers, and if your skin's super dry like mine and old and wrinkly like you said, uh, you may not want that. Um, this Smashbox water, a lot of people um, swear by this one. I haven't noticed that it does much for me. <laughs> it's a little bit more watery than like Flix, Flix Plus. Fix Plus <laughs> or some of those. And uh, actually what I use this one now for is to kind of wet my brushes to put um, shimmery eyeshadows on and things like that. Same with Makeup Forever. I don't know if I really hit my stride with this either. Um, so this is not a favorite necessarily, but it's, it's a good one to do before or after. Some of these are also good, especially like this one right here from, from Tarte. These are sometimes good just as the day goes on and your makeup gets kind of like, you know, it's been on a few hours it's kind of crusty. Um, you could actually just kind of freshen up your makeup with these. And of course, this is one of my favorite things. This is the Dry Clean um, by Sephora for your brush. To dry, dry clean your brushes really quick. And the nice thing about that is you just spray them. And then I have this awesome little thing which I love. This is upside down. <laughs> um, this is the Color Switch. So anyway, this is the co <laughs> this is Color Switch Solo Brush Cleaner by Vera Mona. And it, the neat thing about this is it's got this little pad in here so that as you're doing eyeshadow or whatever and you want to switch colors, you just swirl it around in here and it knocks, keeps, it takes all the brush, all the color off this brush. And if you take this out, whenever you take this out to clean it, you'll notice that it all falls down here um, in the pan and away from your brush. So I love this thing. I know a lot of people say, eh, don't buy expensive stuff. It's not expensive, but they'll say, don't buy, you know, expensive vanity things because you just need a, a washcloth or whatever but the thing that this does that that doesn't do is it actually you know keeps the color away and actually really cleans off your brush scrubs it a little bit better than a washcloth does so i highly recommend this for sure um so anyway that is the blush drawer in and of course going over to the other side um this whole side you can tell like what my really big weaknesses are though <laughs> this entire side is all eye stuff so I don't know what eye stuff is, but you know, eyeshadow palettes and things like that. <laughs> things that go on your eyes. Uh, but uh, the eye drawers, of course, you know, these, this is one of my ones I use a ton of, so they're kind of messy and dirty, but there's the little tight ones. I just use this top drawer as kind of my little thing. And some of these are really, um, again, just underappreciated sometimes. And of course, some of these are going to be hard to open, but this little one by Ofra is absolutely beautiful nice highlights and blush if you don't want to use them for eyeshadows but i love this one by them and then this is another beautiful one this freak show by strobe cosmetics and it is ugh. and some of these colors wait and some of these colors i realize um are a little intimidating especially when you're just starting out doing your makeup 
So sometimes it might just be good if colors catch your eye to just grab the palette and then set it aside until you kind of learn a little bit more about like what kind of colors you like on your eyes and things and then you can reach for these. But um, I was really intimidated again, like why would I ever use that? Like that's really scary and this one's really scary. Um, but if you know how to kind of blend things together um, and that comes from just like, over, over a year and a half of watching YouTube videos to teach yourself how to do some of that. So of course here's all my glitter eyeliners and I don't know why I have this many because I hardly ever use a glitter eyeliner um, but um, I, I want just for a little bit of sparkle sometimes I will just put it right against the top of my eyelash and uh, not too much because you know you're not going to a disco or whatever but <laughs> um, it just makes your eyes spark a little bit and uh, that's really nice when you have kind of old tired looking eyes like I do. Um, and then of course you know you get some of these from uh, I have some beauty box subscriptions and things so you'll get some palettes that way and uh, just kind of grab these little ones when you can because those are really nice to kind of grab and, and take along. And then of course you can really do a good job by just getting some kind of like magnetic sword palette um, like this one and then you can just go pick the colors that you like the best in just these little pans and then you can and they're magnetic and you just stick them in here you can have your own kind of custom palette that way if you're too worried about getting a big palette. Um, so there's my, some of my color pop, and then the rest of those are up there. So we have some, so much color pop, and then here's some gel eyeliner. Um, that there's some more up there that need to come in. But there's one by Kylie and one by um, uh, 42 Duvernay, which has a really, 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 really nice eyeliner. I think I did a that that one in one of my uh, last videos. So then the next drawer is just still more, <laughs> and you see how I'm not, I'm not. Uh, hindered by brand. I mean, if it's something that I like, I will go get it. I'm not going to be like, oh, Tarte, that's for the young kids. That's not for me. Oh, Stila, that's for young, pretty people. It's not for me. Uh, no, you can, you get whatever catches your eye. And then um, some of these are completely non-threatening. This is one of my favorite, favorite little palettes. It's the Man Eater palette by Tarte. And they're very non-threatening uh, shadows, and that's something that you can play around with as a really nice little beginner palette. And or then sometimes when you just want a really natural look, which most of the time that's what we want. Uh, but this was one that I still one of my favorites. That I absolutely love by uh, Persona, the Identity palette. And um, you know I didn't get near enough publicity for this either. I tried to put a bunch of pictures on my Instagram when it came, but look at this—it's so beautiful. And there's some shimmers and some mattes. And these colors are absolutely non-threatening and beautiful. So um, I highly recommend getting that one for your collection. And that's really pretty. And then all of these by Stila are just so pretty. And like I said, you can see all of these on um, my Instagram. But ooh. <laughs> and there's some La Rock and some Tarte. Um, there's some Real Her, which is a great company of empowering women. And then of course, you know, um, this is one of my, still one of my favorite ones, the Ciate Pretty Fun and Fearless palette. And all of these are pretty neutral. So sometimes I see people say, well, I already have a neutral palette, so I don't need another neutral palette. But there'll be just enough different ones um, to make you want to buy a new palette. And that's how I end up getting so many palettes. So I don't recommend you going and getting all of the ones that I have. It did cost me lots and lots and lots of my savings <laughs> to start this business. But, uh, um, but you know, it, it's nice to have a little bit of a variety. And that way I can talk to you guys about um, different ones that I like and different ones that I use for my skin and for aging skin. Um, all right, so brushes. Um, I, I did a video a while back on like some of my favorite brushes, and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a tutorial for you guys. Uh, just like if you want to go buy brushes, here are the best ones. Um, the most, the, the, you know, like the basic ones that you need to kind of get going. So some of these like would not be on there. Like some of these are very, for very specific things. So I might do a video on just kind of getting um, like a starter kit for brushes. And there was this beautiful set by Morphe, my husband got me for my first day because it was kind of expensive, but so 
pretty. Sparkly. I just love these. I put them right here so I can stare at them and call them beautiful and everything. <laughs> They're so pretty. Um, and so, of course, there's some little vanity things you can get. I'm going to give a little shout out to my friend at um, um, Classy Paint Boutique. She has lots and lots of really pretty little vanity things for you to put on your vanity. And some of these little things, too. I guess you got this at her store, too. But Etsy has a lot of these little holders for you to put things in. And, of course, this, uh, these little sets are everywhere. You can get the little brush holders. I'm going to have lip pencils in that one. And not all my eye pencils in that one. I need they're up there. So I'm slowly kind of bringing things down. And that's me, Beats. <laughs> so I don't want the bees around. Um, but I'm just loving these new lipsticks from Tarte. And if you haven't tried them, try them because they are really beautiful nudes and they are very, very good formula. So these are some of my favorite things right now. <laughs> Trying to do things one hand. And then uh, some other of the ones that I am liking right now are these new ones from Tarte. And they look like, you know, just the little gold bullets that you see sometimes, but there's the formula. And look at that color. Woo! So pretty. So these are really, really, really nice formula, brand new from Tarte. And then if you don't want to get any of brand name makeup, they have lots of these new collections that are here now in all kinds of different trending shades. These are some of my favorite nude ones from Maybelline. And these are just perfect if you just want a nice neutral lip. So I think when some older people hear the word like, makeup they think or you know beauty gurus or makeup or whatever they think that they have to buy all this expensive stuff and these wild colors and you just don't need to do that sometimes just getting something little and basic is just what you need and just colors that kind of catch your eye so you can put makeup on and not look like you have much makeup on so kind of um, think of that Stila, if you are really liking the glitter um, these are some beautiful um, eyeshadows by Stila that are just lovely and these are some of my favorite lipsticks they're from Charlotte Tilbury and I got this this little holder from Charlotte Tilbury and then these were the Mariah Carey MAC lipstick colors and they're just so pretty to put on your vanity too and this lamp <laughs> this rose lamp has gotten more likes than me um, and it's just so and I, I agree I agree it's so pretty um, but it came from a little shop on Amazon so it's really, really, really pretty. I'm so glad I got it. It makes my vanity look so pretty. And then I am loving these little things. Let me just throw it over there. <laughs> so I'm loving these little things. This is a new thing from Blender Elf. And it keeps your beauty blender inside. It closes like that. And so it sits, you know, so prettily on your vanity. But look at all the holes so it doesn't get moldy and weird. So I cannot wait to get my beauty blender into that. So pretty. <laughs> but so that is the vanity pretty much so I cannot wait to start filming more and more and more goodies for you guys if there's something specific that you want to see um, just let me know So thanks so much for watching today. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget before you leave to hit that little thumbs up button down there and that red subscribe button. I would love to see you back here again. And if there's anything specific that anyone wants to discuss or talk about or have me do here on my channel, please, please leave me a comment in the comment section below so that I can make sure our channel is catered to you and what you need. So I hope you enjoyed it today and I will see you next time. Don't forget, you're only as old as you tell people you are. See you later. Bye-bye.